13.4 times Fifteen point five. You'll understand what I meant in a second. I spoke a little too soon. Okay, so now we're gonna just work this as if this is um, a regular schmegular multi-digit multiplication problem. Okay, I'm gonna box the number in the tenths place first, so I can multiply thirteen and four tenths by five. 4 times 5 is 20, put my 0, carry my 2, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 plus 2 is 17, put my 7, carry my 1, 1 times 5 is 5, and 5 plus 1 is 6. I don't have any other numbers that need to be multiplied by five. So I'm going to move on to the next place value. But before I do that, I need to mark out the numbers I don't need anymore. So I don't get confused by them. And then I need to put my place value holder to show that I'm now moving on to the next place value. I'm gonna box this five so I know that that's the number I'm working with now. All right, four times five is 20, so I'll put my zero, carry my two. Three times five is 15. 15 plus two is 17. Put my seven, carry my one. One times five is five, and five plus one is six. I don't have any other numbers that need to be multiplied by five. So I'm going to move on to the next place value. But before I'm gonna mark out the numbers I don't need anymore. And then now, remember this is just as if I was working with a multi-digit whole number. Instead of putting one place value holder, I'm gonna put two because I'm now two place values into the problem. I put my two place value holder, holders. Now I can multiply 13 and 4 tenths by one. Four times one is four, three times one is three, and one times one is, well, one. I don't have any other numbers that need to be multiplied by one. So now I'm going to add zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus zero plus zero is seven. Six plus seven is 13. 13 plus four is 17. Put my seven, carry my one. One plus six is seven, seven plus three is 10, put my zero, carry my one, and then one plus one is two. Now that I'm done solving my multiplication problem, I need to figure out where my decimal point is gonna go in my answer. So remember, if we start off with the decimal point in our problem, there has to be a decimal point in our answer. So I'm gonna do like I did on the last couple problems. I'm gonna look at each number and see how many digits are behind the uh, decimal point within that number. So for this number, 13 and 4 tenths, I have one number behind the decimal point, so I'll put one on the side. In 15 and 5 tenths, I have one number behind the decimal point, so I put one on the side. I'm gonna add these together. One plus one is two. So that means in my answer, there has to be two numbers behind the decimal point because there's two numbers behind the decimal point in the entire problem. So if I start from the end and work my way, if I start 
Let me, okay, I'm sorry. If I start to the right and I work my way to the left, if I go over two numbers, my decimal point will be in between the two sevens. So my answer is 207 and 70 hundredths. All right, we're gonna do another one with a little bit more numbers behind the place value. Did I say numbers behind the place value? I'm at decimal point, I'm sorry y'all. All right, so now we're going to do 21 and 8 tenths times 4 and 32 hundredths. Again, it does not matter. No, we don't need to line up the decimal points when we multiply. Because if you do that, you're going to get yourself confused. I'm telling you, because I would be confused. So do not worry about lining up the decimal points when we multiply. That is only when we add and subtract, okay? So now I'm gonna work this again, just like it's a basic multi-digit multiplication problem. I'm gonna start off with my number in the hundredths place, box it, and multiply. Eight times two is 16, put my six, carry my one, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 2 times 2 is 4. I'm done multiplying 21 and 8 tenths by 2, so I'm going to move on to the next place value. Before I do that, I'm going to mark out the numbers I no longer need. I also need to put my zero in my place value holder before I can move on. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna box my three so I know that that is the number I'm focused on right now. Now I'm gonna multiply. Eight times three is 24. I'm gonna put my four, carry my two. One times three is three. Three times, no. 3 plus 2 is 5. Yeah. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So we have multiplied 21 and 8 tenths by 3. I have nothing else I need, that I need to multiply by 3. So I'm now going to move on to the next place value. I'm going to mark out the numbers I don't need anymore. And then now, remember, since I'm moving over to the third number, I need to add two place values to show that I've already like, multiplied by the hundreds place and the tenths place. So now I'm going to multiply. Four times eight is 32. I'll put my two, carry my three. One times four is four. Four plus three is seven. And then two times four is eight. I have nothing else that needs to be multiplied. So I'm gonna add our products together. Six plus zero plus zero is six. Three plus four plus zero is seven. Four plus five is a nine, and then nine plus two is 11. I'll put my one, carry the other one. One plus six is seven, and seven plus seven is 14. I'll put my four, carry my one, and then one plus eight is nine. Now I'm done solving, but I'm not done with my answer because if I'm working with decimals, my answer has to have a decimal. So, I'm gonna do like I did the last couple problems. 
I'm going to look at each number and see how many digits are behind the decimal point. So for 21 and 8 tenths, I only have one number behind the decimal point, so I'm going to put 1. Now in 4 and 32 hundredths, I have two numbers behind the decimal point, so I'm going to put 2. I'm going to add these two together. 1 plus 2 is 3. So that means I need to have three numbers behind the decimal point in my answer. So I'm going to start from the right and work my way to the left. 1, 2, 3. Put my decimal point, and that is our answer. 94 and 170.